Hi, hey, welcome back to another FSD beta video. Today we're on 10.0.1. These are my first impressions. Um, let's see how well the car is able to get me to some of the navigation items we put in the map here today. I also want to state that if any of you guys want my full self-driving beta shirts, um, you can now see them right here in the corner. Those are now available on our website. Um, link down in the description. We will be sending those out to you guys if you guys want them. Feel free to check them out. The car came to a full stop here, even though it's a cul-de-sac. Very interesting. I've noticed that, that happened a lot in FSD Beta 10. So that's very normal to me so far. This is very difficult on our left. We have a blind turn. Um, I can't tell. Okay, now I can tell it's clear, but that's very, through very small bushes. Car is creeping forward. It is now very clear to go. Okay. Um, the car did a good job creeping out, but um, it did take a little bit longer. What would you say, Dom? Yeah, and it automatically brought us into the left lane, which was not very ideal. It wasn't ideal, but we do need to take a left at about 0.3 miles, so I understand why I did it. However, I would have started in the right and then waited to the merge we're about to reach and then came over. Actually, really impressed with this turn. I handled that one really smoothly. I like that. That was perfect. Yeah. yeah. A little heavy on the brakes there. In feet, turn yeah, right I took over there. Yeah, it's too close to that parked car. Much too close to that parked car. I mean, we may have not hit, but the sensors did go off, and I did take over. So, in a world of unknowns, we'll never know. Turn right onto Cozy Court. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Now your destination is on the right. All right, just like that, FSD Beta 10.0.1 got us to our destination. Let's put a new destination in and see how it does. FSD has now been turned back on. So we can't see from our left. It says use the accelerator or gear stock to continue. So I'm going to tap the throttle for a half a second. I just let go. Let's continue to tape. It's obvious it's clear. And the car proceeds. Now turn right onto Glider Drive. Checking for visibility, though it's obvious that it's clear. The car is taking a very long time, it's obviously clear. Feel free to comment down below if you think pressing this icon actually does anything. Now turn left onto Elvis Drive. All right, it's clear for me that it's okay to go. Still clear to go. Still very clear to go. I'm gonna hit the accelerator just so that way the train hit that it's clear. Let go of the accelerator. That GoPro just turned off up above. I apologize. And now it makes the turn. 
All right, we fixed the GoPro up above and we're on the same road and now we're gonna see if it turns right. So it's creeping forward for visibility. It's obvious from both sides that it is clear and that we are available to go. The car, once again, does not wanna go, so I'm gonna tap the accelerator. I'm still tapping it, now I'm letting go. The car now proceeds. Now turn left on Tahiri Drive. That time it just got up and get wet. I liked it. Those other streets don't have stop signs. I know. They have something to do with it. I think that might have something to do with it. There's a vehicle coming on, on coming. Oh God. Did you hear my GoPro go off again? Couldn't tell. That would suck if it went off like right there. Now turn left on Colleen Avenue. Handled that turn well. There's no one at this intersection. Let's see how well the car does. Proceeds. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the left. All right, once again, FSD got us to our destination, but there were some casual faults. And also, the so our, our destination is here, but I sometimes wish that the car actually pulled us over onto the side of the road and parked for us. That would be a nice little feature. Especially if it was so obvious that there was parking available. Exactly, like right here. All right, we added one more destination. Let's see how the Tesla does. Tessa did a really good job squeezing ourselves through all those tight cars, I have to say, Dom. In 500 yeah, feet, turn right onto Lean <clears throat> Avenue. Look, oh, Arizona's giving sure. Looks free. Oh, wait, that's now not nice. Turn huh? right onto Lean Avenue. All right, so I'm not able to see from our left. I have no idea. Okay, now I can tell that it is safe to go. The car is taking its time, it is very safe. It's almost as if the creeping could be twice as fast. Yeah. You know, that setting for creeping. How long it needs to look for. Yeah. Especially with the acceleration capabilities of this now car. Now turn left onto Santa Teresa Boulevard. So this we have to yield the turn. Now there's no one to yield for. Right there is beeping. I need to put my hand on the wheel. My hand has been on the wheel, but uh, FSC is still on. right here and see when it gets us in the lane up here it goes so then it's clear for us to go and the car proceeds we got us in the far left lane but we do have to turn right so that was a little weird but to go right here we're about to cross over two lanes it doesn't want us to cross over two lanes because that is illegal 
and it knows we can't do that. So that car is gonna proceed. Let's see what happens. All right, now it's rerouted our destination. Let's see what happens. Well, it's kind of having a speed right now. Yeah, it has some good speed. The speed of like 30 here or 40. 35? Is it? Okay. Now turn right onto Calero Avenue. Made that turn really well. Slightly jerky. In 500 yeah. feet, turn right onto Shawcroft Drive. All right here we got another Tesla in front of us, just pulling out, kind of blocking the road. Tesla did a good job at slowing down. Now turn right onto Shawcroft Drive. This is autopilot paused, waiting for our turn. My car has proceeded. It shows it was waiting for that car with a blue icon on the screen. That was actually pretty cool. And then it went proceeded. That's something I've never seen before. I've never seen it highlight another vehicle that was waiting for in an intersection before. That's kind of cool. So now we know which one it was waiting on. Feet. <laughs> All right, once again, Tesla's got us to our destination. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Sunday drive, first impressions with 10.0.1. Um, feel free to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed the content. And like I said, we now have FSD beta shirts that we are now selling, link in the description. Make sure to grab one while they're hot. All right, thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.